In today's exercise, we're going to be drawing stairs using one-point perspective. To begin, draw a vertical line in the center of the page. Then draw a horizon line, approximately two-thirds up from the bottom. Now place a dash where the vertical line and the horizon line intersect. Place another dash three feet above this line in half-inch scale. Now draw a baseline six feet below the horizon line in half-inch scale. The top dash is the vanishing point to determine the slope of the stairs. The dash on the horizon line will be the vanishing point for the step treads. Now we'll determine the width of the staircase. In this example, I placed a dash mark approximately 4 feet to the left and 4 feet to the right of the vertical line in half-inch scale. Now we'll establish the height, or the rise, of the first step. For this example, I drew another horizontal line 9 inches above the baseline in half-inch scale. Now we'll draw a line from each corner of the first step to the slope vanishing point. This will be the only time we'll use the slope vanishing point in this exercise. Now let's draw the top, or the tread, of the first step. To do this, we'll draw a line from the corner of the step towards the vanishing point for the step treads. Where this line intersects the bottom slope line, we'll draw a horizontal line to the other side. Again, we'll draw a line from the corner of the first step towards the vanishing point of the step treads to connect the two lines. Now from this corner, we'll draw a vertical line up until it intersects the top of the slope line on either side. Then we'll connect these lines by drawing a horizontal line between them. We will repeat this process for the other steps. Notice that as we get closer to the horizon line, the view of the top of each step decreases. And when we pass the horizon line, we no longer see the tops of the steps. In this example, I'll extend the first step and create a wall or a railing. To find the slope, I'll go to the slope VP once again. Now we'll go back in and verify the final shape of the stairs. Now I'll add an extra horizontal line on each step to indicate bullnosing, or the thickness of each tread.
One of your exercises this week is to draw a set of stairs in one point perspective. Include a border and a title block. You will find a copy of this handout in Blackboard after this video for your reference.